I'm going to look at the up vector constraint and the curve path. With the camera here, I'm going to put the camera on the curve path. And inside here, each of these constraints will actually have a tangency as well. So if I turn it on, I can use these buttons here to determine which way I want my uh, tangency to be applied. So if I do negative, you can see how it's flipping like so. Each of these has a up vector tab inside it. Now this is what you'll need. Any uh, constraint which has an up vector tab, well now we can use the create up vector. It's actually doing exactly what we would do, but directly inside the PPG. If I were to get, say, a, I don't know, just a cube for now, and wanted to use this as my up vector, I can either pick it from here, or I can go constrain up vector and pick this. And therefore, you see exactly what it did. So, up vectors can only be used with those constraints which already have an up vector tab inside it. It's just a way in which you can apply an up vector without having to go inside the property page. So now, as I have a look at the path constraint, it's always going to look at the cube. If I were to start moving it around, there we go. That's where it's going to go. So sometimes putting the cube on another path will help control the roll of the camera.